And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for part three of our sub battle stream that we got going on here. That's right, this is where I play against subscribers. We play a different deck every round. The subscribers bring their decks to the, uh, to the battles as well, and it's a whole lot of fun. So far, I've been having a lot of success. I've been drawn very well, um, been getting very lucky, and so putting up the win so far. But team chat is going to be fighting back here. Um, all right, so Fiery Aspen is up next. And so also to determine what deck I'm playing, I'm spinning this wheel that originally had 45 different decks that we'd been playing on stream over the last month since Throne of Eldraine released. Let's spin it and see what deck is up next for me to play. Looks like I got Abzan Knights. Okay. I've been playing a lot of green-black decks. So make sure best of three for the format. All right, so this Abzan Knights list was a donation deck. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. So this is our Abzan Knights deck. Okay. Let's see how it does. All right, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically all these decks have like Ashiok in them still, or we don't really need Ashiok too much anymore, but oh well. Ew, one lander. Ugh, one lander. All right, so we're going to keep this five. We're going to go... One of those and a land, which I think is going to be Temple Garden. I mean, going with the Overgrown 2 means we have double black, double white, and double green. So I guess we'll just do that. Pretty rare to want to keep a one drop, but Knight of the Ebon Legion is a pretty rare one drop. Yeah, KY, was this your deck originally? Cool. Simic Ascendancy! Alright, this is our, our my second opponent playing Simic Ascendancy. That's cool. Hmm. Wintermore Commander. Yeah, just the honor system. I mean, that's... I mean, that's the only way that I keep people from watching my stream even whenever I'm playing normally. You know, it's just the... Like, you know, I just play against random opponents. Like, anybody could just see, like, ooh, Todd Stevens MTG. Tune into the stream. So, like, it's just always on honor system. I mean, I'm, I'm sure, like, my normal matches that I play... I mean, with the sub battle stream, I, I don't think, you know, like these are like these are fun matches. Like I, I don't I don't think any subs watch the stream at all. Like, you know, watch while we're playing. <laughs> That's what I mean. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I think probably during my regular matches, it's probably like five percent, ten percent of times my opponents watching while they're playing, um, which just happens. And it's OK. I can't. I can't really do anything about it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean. 
Uh, I didn't mean subs don't watch the stream as in. Yeah, I did not say that very well. <laughs> I cannot protect you anymore. Yeah, you can kind of tell that they haven't been watching being like 7 1 also. What's up, Justice? 10 months. Thank you so much there, Justice. 10 months for our 10th sub of the day. Yorvo. Um. This is a weird uh, attack and block here. So we just hit a sub goal there, so I should update that for our next 12 hour stream. That's sub goal number 18. We're only two away now from our next 12 hour stream. Merrileaf Pixel. Pixie. Maraleaf. Mayrayleaf. Attack. Yeah, Fiery Aspen stuck on lands. <clears throat> oh, I don't... I'm not sure how many 12-hour streams I've done. I've done a lot of 12-hour streams before. But yeah, basically every every 20 sub-goals, I'm doing another one. And we're at 18. Oh, you have holidays next week, Ganaris? Yeah, it probably will. I mean, we're only... We're only two sub goals away now. So if we hit one tomorrow, um, and then hit one Monday, you know, then we can have it next week. You know, like you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. Probably Wednesday. I think that's probably the day I'm I'm kind of looking at for it. The green in the deck gives the gives the deck a little bit of top end, um, you know. Like we have Vraska and Garrick and Find Finality and Assassin's Trophy is in here somewhere, I'm sure. And Knight of the Ebon Legion, or not, sorry, no, Knight of Autumn. Not the Oven Legion is so good. Hmm. Not sure about all these Legion's ends. Hey, what's up, Butters? Fat Butters with the sub. Also for 10 months. That is awesome. Thank you so much there, Fat Butters. Yeah, like, so... If 
Fiery Aspen has a lot of mana creatures. Which Legion's End can help clean that up. I kind of feel like this isn't really a Cavalier of Night matchup, honestly. And also not really a fine finality one. I mean, I guess Night of Autumn blows up that Simic Ascendancy and stuff. Maybe be playing trophies, though. You don't have to play for Noxious Grasp in the side nowadays, but it's... It's not bad to though. Um, even having like a couple in the a couple in the main deck, a couple in the sideboard can work wonders. So I'm not going to Noxious Grasp this thing, but maybe I should just hold up, just play the Swamp to have, like, Noxious Grasp for the next thing. In fact, I don't really even know what this thing does. Okay, so Creature enters with it. Yeah, okay, never mind. I remember what that thing does now. Cooperation is the path to we'll do this together. Poor Jing Yang Zhu. Okay. Through this land, we are all connected. The land shall conquer you. See, I wish I wish that, you know, putting three counters on that trigger descendancy, but it technically doesn't. I can help you no longer. But I wish it did. Help out Simic Ascendancy. Give it some more power. Should do that during combat. After I block. Instead of before like before combat then you're just saying okay don't block with midnight reaper you just see you attack first if they block with midnight reaper then you put the counter on it obviously in this scenario with me having the black lance paragon it doesn't matter but for future it'd be better to wait Your blood is mine. You belong to me now. Get double life link. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not updating the the stream decker for every single deck that we play because I'm I'm playing a different deck every single round. Um. So yeah, with the sub battle stream today, I'm not not going through and updating each one. So yeah, it's still just on whatever we were at yesterday. I abhor my need for blood. Yeah, of course. Of course, Candice. Yeah, absolutely. Get 
Galloping Lizrog. These knights look pretty mean. I'm not going to destroy Simic Ascendancy. That is way too mean. Yeah, that'd be way too mean. Destroying the Simic Ascendancy. See, that's how today's been going, though. I've been drawing really well. Like, that's just really good draws, like, with the three-color deck and everything. Not been stumbling at all. I don't. I don't take it easy. But the game's already in the bag. Hey, what's up, Fire Aspen? Yeah, Blacklands Paragon. Wow, that card was looked incredible. No, yeah, that's not something you see too often, but that card should probably see more play. I mean, I guess Questing Beast is um, starting to see less play because of Wicked Wolf and, and Oko, but it's a great card against uh, Questing Beast there. So no exclamation point there, d -Lev. All right, so yeah, of course, uh, if you're a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat if you'd like to play up next. And D-Lev, yeah, there you go. Just use regular battle. So give everybody just a little bit more time to get on in there. See who's going to be the next person to play. <laughs> yeah, this is, I mean, I've just been, I've been getting really fortunate today. I've been hitting good decks on the wheel and been drawn really well and everything like that. Yeah, probably probably wouldn't have mattered too much there, the, the Aspen. My, my game two hand was just incredible. All right, looks like everybody is in there. Let's keep this going. See Wookiees. All right, see Wookiees, you are up. Send me that gamer tag. All right, yeah, you want to play Brawl? Okay. All right, we're going to play some Brawl. So I don't need to spin the wheel. I only got two options. All right, we're going to let I'm going to let chat vote on my on which deck to play. Um. All right, so we have I have two brawl decks that we played the other day. We have Kethis Brawl and a Yara Brawl. So Kethis. So let's go. You you have you're gonna have thirty seconds to vote. So this is Kethis. You know, so it's Abzan colors with all that stuff. Or a Yara. All right, so you got 30 seconds, and Ayara has all this stuff. So vote for either Kethis or Ayara. Either just type the word Ayara or the word Kethis. Which brawl deck am I choosing here? And see, Wookies, I think sent me the gamer tag. Did I copy paste it? Wow, I did. I don't even remember doing that. All right, so a Yara or Kethis. Which brawl deck are we doing? 
All right, looks like everybody wants to see Ayara. Ayara won the poll. I think, I think, because whenever we played these the other day, I won a lot of games with Kethis and I lost a lot of games with Ayara. So I think Team Chat is looking out for Siwookie's voting for Ayara. That's that's what I'm thinking. How do I change it to Brawl? It just... Okay, so you do go to Direct Challenge. And then this one right here just says Deck deck Type Brawl. You just change this right here. You have, It has to say Format Best of 1 because there's, there's no Best of 3 Brawl. So you have to have Format Best of 1 and then change that to Brawl. All right, so let's see what Sea Wookies is brawling with. Hopefully not Oko. Royal Scions. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I know the, the cam blocks the, the menu, but I could at least show which line it was. Planeswalkers are very powerful in Brawl. Especially a cheap one that you get to play, it dies, you get to replay it. Real Science is probably the second best three mana planeswalker in standard. At least in Brawl. I don't... I guess Teferi. I guess Teferi's a card. Um... The aggressive line is playing the Order of Midnight right now. The non-aggressive line is doing nothing. Yeah, it's just so much loyalty, that's the thing. Like, Oko, Royal Zions, they just don't die. They have too much loyalty. So I can Spark Harvest, Sack the Knight to kill the Royal Zions, and then put Knight back into my hand. Option number one. Option number two is play Davriel. Go with option number two. And next turn... The mask is scary. Next turn we're going to do that four. thing, but then we, I get to replay Knight also, because I'll have four mana, so I'll just be able to use that extra mana there. Probable alliance. My answers lie in the cold so, truth. Busted combination. At least we've gotten a couple of good planeswalkers out of Ion Eyes. Out of Siwuki's hand. All right, so I, I wanted the fairy to block because I don't want the fairy to attack Davriel. So I thought the best way to get the fairy to block was to attack the Royal Scions. Let's tidy up in there. Let it 
So it feels like such a victory getting Royal Scions off the battlefield, but... Siwuki just gets to play Royal Scions again next turn. <laughs> uh, Brawl Commanders are busted. Just cost five mana now. It's a Planeswalker that's worth five mana, though. Courage is the greatest virtue. Uh, let me synthesize the facts. I think you'll be needing that. Yeah, it's improbable alliance. Enjoy the proper application. Quite nice. Game's looking very good for Sea Wookies. But we'll see. Maybe I draw some more Planeswalker removal. I don't think I have very much Planeswalker removal, that is. So six mana. Now I have five mana. Played around a brawl versus Nicol Bolas. Took him, took out Nicol Bolas five times. <laughs> you were playing Royal Scion Seven Dwarves deck, so you can play what seven, seven dwarves, right? I was really hoping that both of those both of those fairy tokens would be out of here. Thousand year storm. Well that's probably gonna kill me. Let me <laughs> that's this probably the that's box. probably gonna kill me. Yeah, a Yara Dreadhorde Evasion is a pretty cool combo. So the first instant and sorcery spell each turn doesn't do a whole lot. I think I have made a tactical error. I should just sacrifice this first. Ugh. Just more land. This is what happened to us before whenever we're playing a Yara. We just draw a whole bunch of lands. To know is to triumph. Uh, 
See, Wookiees has discarded so many better cards than what I've played. <laughs> oh, Citadel. To the rescue. Citadel to the rescue. Hmm. Well, Drillbit doesn't do anything right now. That that insight's in their graveyard. We can't really play Finale for X is one. There's like so like basically we can't we can't play finale off of the top of the library. I don't have creatures in my graveyard right now, but we're really close to finale for ten anyway. The battle begins. Storm versus Citadel. So double chemistry's in sight. Wow, ancestral recall. I think this could be lethal. Now, I, now I'm much more willing to believe this is going to be lethal. I forgot about the Knight of the Oven Legion pumping also. Whenever I said I think this is lethal. And I, and I also forgot about the Bolo Citadel. Wow, Citadel is incredible. Got there. Yeah, the Knight, knight was like lethal by itself. Well, I didn't think we were going to be winning that, but just just got enough discard in there. Just kept see Wookiees like you know, see Wookiees had to discard so many good cards. Uh, like the Davriel on turn three, honestly, was really good. You know, got rid of like Narset and a couple other good ones and everything like that. Like just made it difficult for Sea Wookiees to keep hitting land drops because um, while they're looting and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was lethal, give or take twenty five. GG's, see Wookiees. GG's. It's not not with Brawl, I guess, because Brawl is like the longer games and everything there. I don't know, because yeah, like so like that I mean that was like already a 30 minute game, so like I think that's I think we're gonna I'm gonna go on to the next one there. Cause yeah, best best of three with that could be 
Uh, could take like a long time. Uh, brawl is just standard, but there is like a casual brawl you can play that include that is historic, also. Okay, so if you are a, um, if you are a sub, but you want to be the next person to battle. Type the word battle into the chat, just like all the other subscribers here that want to be the next person to play. Because, yeah, we need to get, you know, there's a lot of people here that want to play. So doing the best two out of three could take a while. Try to get more people in. But, yeah, of course, GG's there, Siwookies. Yeah. Yeah, Davriel making you lose the three cards. I was, you know, I was thinking that the Royal Scions was going to take over, but... But then, like, the whole time, you had, like, two cards in hand, you know? Like, yeah, you can play Historic Brawl. You just, uh, like, whenever you just hit play, just, um, like, with the different play modes, like, there's, um, yeah, you can do Historic Brawl. All right, looks like everybody is in the giveaway. Let's go Parappa the... Unwrap a. Send me that gamer tag. You're up next. And let's let the wheel decide what deck I'm playing. Historic Brawl is direct challenge only? Okay. Yeah, it's the friendly brawl. Okay, so it's only against. It's only direct challenge. Okay. All right, I'm spinning the wheel, see what deck I'm playing up next. Artifact, aggro. I guess maybe that wasn't a 30 minute game. Maybe, was that the second? I don't know, I've been, this part three has been going on for 37 minutes. I don't know if that was the only game I played or if I played another one. I don't remember. Yeah, Bullis Citadel really likes you starting with another five life um okay so i'm going 60 card best of three and i'm playing artifact aggro Okay, so artifact aggro, looking like this. This is a deck that's built around all that glitters. Trying to get that glitter life going there. Okay. So here we go. Good luck, Parappa. This hand's not going to win. Even though I can cast four spells, that's not going to win. Well, this hand's probably not really winning either, but this is what our deck is. All right, got to get that scry. We already got too many lands. Eh. Eh. You're, you're a spell, I guess. So why not play Emery in this deck? I'm not sure. This this was not a deck that I made. This was a a 5-0 list that we tried out. Um, I wasn't super impressed with this deck, but um, it can do some powerful stuff with all that glitters, though, at least. Rectus. So 
So I'm basically an all-in deck. If they kill my Ginger Brood, I lose. That's what this deck is. Yeah, it relies on all that glitters and your opponent not having removal. Basically. You should not let your opponent untap. You got your removal spell, just use it. You know you're going to use it anyway. All right, we're, we're going for the ginger brute force plan. No. The ginger brute force plan is gone. My Lock Twain gargoyle gone. It's all gone. So I'm going to have to try to snake this win away from my opponent. New plan. Oh. <laughs> How'd this deck five oh it it had a better it had better draws than what I had on the mulligan. Um I think this deck was good against um I think it was good against the Field of the Dead decks that didn't really have removal. And you just put your all that glitters on an unblockable creature. And try attacking a bunch. The history of this world is one never others will learn. <laughs> I am your inner demon. Suffer the dreams of the damned. The second, or like that fourth black source is rough because they, they would be able to play both murderous riders, but I guess they're just going here. Um, Cherish fresh blood is ideal for divination. Try not to think it is just a small. That card's not bad. <laughs> Knowledge is not without price. Somebody. Gideon Jura, at your service. I will lend you my strength. Good old zero two lifelink. A 
think I got this. Looks like it. <laughs> I am your inner demon. Protection from black. So they can only use red removal on it. Now a 7 7 is too big for red removal. I don't think there's going to be instant speed red removal. At 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the thing. Omnixilis let letting me draw four extra cards. That really helped. Apostle of Purifying Light. I mean, that's just how today's been going for me, though. Like, it just, it is a sub battle day. I've just, everything that I could possibly w want to draw, I'm drawing. I feel like I'm supposed to bring in this extra land and go big against the removal heavy deck. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Yep, playing Azorius Artifact Aggro. So my plan is to get these all that glitters on the Apostle. <clears throat> but I also need... I need my Apostle not to die to red spells also. We on for about 2 hours 20 minutes or so. Be on till 10 Eastern. About another two hours, 20 minutes. <laughs> hey, Changalinga. Oh, no. Iron Crag Pyromancer. That's really bad for me. That's, that's a really bad card for me to see. Why did I take out all those... Removal spells. Why would I ever do that? All right, so I got to hope no shock. Yay, no shock. Um, yeah, to answer your long question, Jokers, yes, the rewards for climbing the ladder are pretty bad. No!
yeah, that's why I think that just playing the the events, you win a whole lot more gold if you just play the events, and it's a lot better than like if you're like looking for rewards, it's better than climbing climbing the ladder. Because yeah, the difference between each one, you get like yeah, you get like a pack or two, and for like all the time you'd spend like ranking up and everything, it's not you do not get good prizes at all. I think it's a lot more worthwhile to play the the constructed events. Let's see. So I definitely need all these glass caskets. Let's retry this. This hand looks pretty good. There's not like a card that really sticks out as something to put back. I guess we're just going to put back the weakest card. Beto, do you play are you playing best of 3 or are you playing best of 1 with blue white flyers? If you're playing best of 3 and you have a sideboard, maybe you want to just play like four sorcerer spyglass if if it goes that big of a problem for you. Okay, best of one. Gotcha. Yeah, because I like that deck in best of one a lot more anyway. So that makes sense. Yeah, the deck's much weaker in best of three. ACM, yeah, there's probably room for, for one spark double, because, yeah, we were talking about that earlier with um, I guess I just play this thing. I don't think we need to play Mystic Forge immediately. Um, that a spark double on one of the six mana planeswalkers would be incredible. Um, but I think, I kind of think I should be turning the deck into, um, into a soul tie deck because of Oko. You know, just being able to play Oko is, was really nice. I'm honestly not sure if this that glass casket's worth it. Kind of feels like it's not. <clears throat> like I should let us both draw two cards a turn. Okay, nice. You cut. Okay, you cut a Golos for one. Okay. Yeah, double Taz, double Lugan. Those, Every even the those are incredibly powerful cards to have. Two of. Suffer. Try not to think too hard. It is just a small headache.
We're just randomly playing a pro black creature. <laughs> Man, things that just went have just gone so well for me today. Just every everything that could go right has gone right. I'm sorry, chat. I'm getting all the luck today. And then tomorrow, you know, we'll play like some some rank or something. I'm gonna lose all my matches. All my all my luck will go. But all right, team chat, stay strong. Let's see who's gonna be up next. Type the word battle in there. Hey, Prapo, your Rakdos draw to? I like it. Um, I I don't think I really like Omnixilis in there. I don't think you want your opponent to draw two. I think that's. I think Omnixilis won me game number one. Where if like, if Omnixilis like just wasn't in your deck, I don't think I would have won the first game. Um. And then. Yeah, I have I have your Abzan list down here down sir Elks, X Exels Exels. I'll have to, um, yeah, I have it, I have it, you know, saved under my folder of like, just like save decks to go. Yeah. It's desperation there. Yeah. I, I just, I feel like, I feel like it just shouldn't be in the deck though. Um, maybe something like, uh, dread presence instead, even though dread presence, dread presence isn't always going to hit, you know, you don't have millions of swamps. But whenever Dread Presence, you know, whenever you do get to play a Swamp, you get to draw an additional card for your 04. Okay, Eccles. We played, we played a red black list like that, Parappa. Go back on the YouTube channel, check out. From yeah, like this is a long a long time ago. From towards the beginning of the format, so you're gonna have to scroll. But look for Rakdos Control. We, you know, so we had like a kind of a similar deck. You can kind of see us play this and see like what I thought of this and everything then, or like how this went. But all these six mana planeswalkers are so strong. Like they're just so much better than Omnixilis if you have any of the six mana planeswalkers. So yeah, Parappa, check out this one. Okay, looks like everybody's in there. Dummy's Day. Ah, sorry, Dummy's Day is not a subscriber. Sorry, just doing this battles for subs here, Dummy's Day. Sorry about that. So let's try again. Ziki. Oh. Also not a subscriber. Whoops. Cyrus. Okay, Cyrus, you are up. All right, so send me that gamer tag, Cyrus. Okay, best of one. Okay, so still, still click best of three, Cyrus, and then I'm just not gonna sideboard. Okay, so we're gonna play. You know, you get to play two out of three games, but I'm just not gonna sideboard. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, Ziki. All right, so what am I playing? Wow, well that's a that's a good best of one deck. So that works for me. All right, then of course send me that send me that gamer tag, Cyrus. Well, I I don't know your gamer tag. You have to send me yours. Like in the chat here, let me know. Like, type out your gamer tag. 
Okay, there we go. How have the battles been? They've been going so well for me. Basically, anything anything good that could happen for me has been, basically. <laughs> Alright, so I'm I'm playing Boros Knights. Let's Oh, that's being laggy. Let's look for Boros Knights. Here we go. This is only our second, maybe third night deck to play. Maybe third. All right, so Cyrus, um, change it to best of three. It always does that. So right here, change it to best of three. And then... And then I'm not I'm not going to sideboard, because you said you're playing a, a best of one deck, so I won't sideboard, but we'll still play three games. Well, two out of three games. How does the queue work? Basically, I do a, I just do a giveaway style. Um, so all you got to do is is um be here um for like after the match just be here right after the match we do a giveaway all you have to do is type battle to be entered this is not a very good hand I guess we don't get the hand fixing that best of one provides normally. By doing best of three. So I still have one night to get acclaimed contender. Getting us that Emba Cleave. Wait, next two blockers. Okay. So I probably should not play my last creature in case of a Wrath. Dang, Ember Cleave is mean. Mean as a junkyard dog. All right, so no sideboarding. We're doing best of one style. Yeah, Ember Cleave is pretty legit. See, even, even this, like we're doing like best of one, and I get, I get like one of my very best best of one decks. Oh, Cyrus, no, you'd still play two out of three. Cyrus, you still still keep playing. I just don't sideboard. Like, we're still just play. You play three games. Because, yeah, just one game, like, that's like, you know, like four minutes. You know, you can play a little bit longer. So, yeah, just, just re-challenge.
Just go back. Just go back. Hit challenge again. Yeah, a little longer than than four games. Yeah, Ember Cleave on Dreadhorde Butcher is really nice, for sure. Wait, I should be on the draw, so... I should be on the draw, so Cyrus just... Because Cyrus should be on the play here. So Cyrus, concede this game if... I don't think you can hear me, but I'm typing there towards you. And so then we'll go to game two. I'm, Cyrus may not have the chat. Like Cyrus probably doesn't have the chat up. Look at chat. Okay, there we go. All right, so now Cyrus gets to be on the play. So, yeah, we already played the first game. Okay. So we're back to where we're supposed to be. We played the first game. Ember Cleave won it. And now we're in game two. But me conceding and choosing to be on the draw doesn't work to doesn't work as well because I got the, the first game kind of thing. Man, my hand is just amazing. The beast. Definitely playing this. I'll play veteran or champion. I guess I'm playing veteran. Which is Vengeance main deck incoming? <laughs> this was a pretty ridiculous hand here. That was a ridiculous hand. Man, that Boros Knight's deck, that looks mean. <laughs> that was pretty insane. That was just an incredible hand. That was turn four. That's turn four. Ugh. Wow. So sorry, Cyrus. That was. Um. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah, Embercleave. <laughs> Embercleave is rough. Okay, good. 
good. Glad you, you generally had good luck with the deck. Because, yeah, I mean, your hand was, was definitely perfectly fine. You know, turn you know, turn two, Druid. Turn three, um, Questing Beast. Turn four, Removal Spell. But then to still be dead on turn four, that, that hand that I had was ridiculous. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good best of one deck. If you want to just like do quick rank up in best of one, Boros Knights is a good, good, uh, good chance there. All right, so this is for subscribers. So if you're a subscriber and you want to be the next person to play, type the word battle into the chat. <laughs> All right, Ganaris, have a good night. We're somebody else is gonna get a win. You won't be the only person. We're getting another one. Your goal is Goose, Rotting Regisaur. The Great Henge Embercleave. Okay, that's okay. That's pretty nice. Okay, all right. Who's gonna be up next? Necrolepsy. All right, Necrolepsy, you are up. All right, let's see what we got. Sultai Cauldron. Okay. Necrolepsy going against the Tuesday Bruisday Cauldron deck that we played the other day. Okay, so here's Sultai Cauldron. With Cauldron of Eternity. We played this one the other day. Fine Broker. I don't have the card style for Fine Broker. There we go. All right, so Sultai Cauldron. Yeah, we don't have any Stitcher suppliers. That'd be a nice one, but... Even, like, the Explore creatures were really good here at, like, putting stuff into the graveyard and helping you hit your land drops and everything. Like, honestly, just missing the Explore creatures is pretty big. I guess I don't have any blue mana, but we have a temple. That's not blue mana. The Boros Knights deck. Um, do a little YouTube search. Blue mana. Resident Reef, you'd be cool. Here we go. This is there's the oh nice thanks Adam you found it I just found it too but yeah you found it so yeah there's there's the YouTube link and it has the deck list in the description there. For these decks, that's like YouTube's the easiest way to find them. If you want to find any specific deck list, like even if you're watching this later on YouTube, um, just type the deck name and then Todd Stevens, and you should be able to, you know, like then it should be like the one of the first things. Oko is just the key card that won the Vintage Challenge. Yep. <laughs> that card is above average. All right, I got blue. Oh, at least it's not Vivian. I cannot go find Broker and Glow Spore Shaman because of that. Uh, if I play Doom Whisperer, I'm taking Lethal. 
All right, so take a lethal. All right, should not have kept the hand with no blue mana and nothing to do there. Cyrus! Okay. Sunday afternoon, okay. I can do, I got the, the first slot is open tomorrow. I have a donation deck for second and third tomorrow. So I can do, I can do first slot tomorrow. All right, so this looks like a matchup where I want to kill stuff. I probably need this these removal spells in. Maybe a couple foragers to help help me gain some life. Um, so that means I'm going to cut Doom Whisper and your rock, and let's cut a Find Broker, and. Cut find agent of treachery. Tamio. All right, Streamlabs. Let me get the rest of that message. At least I didn't have Streamlabs up. All right, so cool. Tomorrow first slot works for you. Now I don't have green mana. <laughs> yeah, I actually, whenever we played this deck the other day, I've, um, okay, so there's the deck list. Jund Henge. Jund Henge Embercleave. And do you want me to play it in best of one, Cyrus? Or do you want me to play it in a best of three? Sunday first. It's 11 1 for now, maybe 11 and 2. Whenever we played this deck the other day, I actually lost all of my matches. So I haven't actually won a, a match with this deck yet. And then we got crushed game 1. Alright, we need green mana. So Cy Cyrus, do you want me to play it in, in best of one or best of three tomorrow? You, you said when you were playing it, it was best of one, but there is a sideboard here, so I'm not sure. Oh, it says oh it, it says in the description. You yeah, can see it in best of three ranked. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. It's all it's all in the description. Everything about it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So I'm not finding anything. instructional videos yeah i'm not i'm just not very good at, at those kind of videos i don't know i don't i don't really know what to say i guess we gotta have creature somewhere yeah i mean there's 
if so yeah good brother what, what i'd recommend is just kind of checking out this level one course um and everything there all right how did i do gain two life just put four awesome spells over in the graveyard that's cool So probably like that's that's honestly like probably the best to do is is peruse that um, for like what they're um, you know what they're worried about. So like if there's if you said like worried about sideboarding, there's there's like a thing there about sideboard sideboard plans. Maybe check that out. Down to eight. Cavalier is nice. Huh. So I could go to six, play Cavalier by shocking in. I could also, if I find Broker back, Murderous Rider to kill the questing beast I'm paying four life to shock and to cast and another two life for murderous rider but if I play cavalier and they kill my cavalier I'm kind of dead all right final answer I'm gonna go cavalier Because how how they just cycled this Veil of Summer is kind of telling me there's another Veil of Summer. That's what I kind of so I'm kind of picturing over here. the mana just to cast that. Okay, so there was no other Veil of Summer. So I have four creatures in my graveyard right now. I gained four life with Foragers. I have not played Oathbreaker. I feel like there's been people that have talked about Oathbreaker in here before. That sounds familiar. I left them with the Rotting Register thinking that they were going to have to discard this card in hand. Now I'm gaining 6 life. I 
go to nine, down to seven, down to five. Master Tracks! Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there, Master Tracks. I appreciate that. Let's get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Alright, so we're at 7. Back down to 5. This blasted questing beast kept doing so much damage to me is now mine. Yay. Uh, it only took me having double Risen Reef and, you know, just a really good hand in general to get there. I kind of want to play these Healer of the Glades. Maybe i just play them over Lazav's. I like Lazav though, but I guess I guess we just want the I guess I want that here. It, well, if they would have saved, you know, like the Veil of Summer would have been discarded to Rotting Regisaur. If you would have thought about like. If they would have, I think it would have been discarded to Rotting Register at least. Maybe it wouldn't have been, but it's it's tough to save cards in hand with Rotting Register. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm I'm playing against chat each round. I'm playing a new deck every round. I have like a wheel that had 45 different decks that I just spin and we play a different deck every round. And so it's a lot of fun. You see a lot of, you know, a lot of different card interactions and everything. Okay, Glowspore Shaman. I do need more green mana. So I'm going to take this land here. No questing beast? No questing beast. Uh-oh. That's like just as scary. No way you block this. No way. Darn. I tried. I'm up 11 to 1. Tried to see if I could just get in some extra damage. No, Carl, you're supposed to cheer for the, for team chat. You're supposed to be cheering for team chat now. Oh no. Getting so punished for attacking with a 3-1. Could have had two three ones. Here. That cauldron animation is so cool. 
So I think normally I'd like to save this for after Risen Reef, but I think I actually need Cavalier of Night right now, not Risen Reef. So I need the two creatures here so I can have one block the Rotting Regisaur and then another one to sacrifice to the Cavalier of Night. No, I don't have any delay set. Team chat's not watching like the the game though. Yeah, you can still participate in Duriel. Yep, it's a battle day. This is going to be really tough for me. That's a good one. I guess. I guess I don't get to activate Cauldron also while playing this. But activating Cauldron, I don't really get to do anything else with it anyway. Wow, just no lands? Don't get to ramp? Okay. I guess we get to land there. Um, so I'm playing this land, so I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will be land number eight. But that, that means I can play a four drop and cauldron back. So I can go like cauldron agent and play Golgari Queen. But I can do that either way. I think I just want the land though. I think we have like enough stuff. To do. Yeah, just wait till after the match. All you have to do is just be here after after the match. be doing like a basically a giveaway Now I have three life. So now I can do this. Because it costs two life to do this. It's possible I should have just played the one from my hand. But this lets me get Golgari Queen in play.
Jackson just needs that that Vivian. Looks like I stabilized. Dang, that was close. No, I haven't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're not going to stabilize at three. We're going to stabilize. I'm going to stabilize at one, not even three. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to win this one. Jackson needed to draw, like, one other thing. Basically, we're going to get Cavalier of Night out here because it's lifelink. I really want to play a new Cauldron. Should have played the other. I should have just played the cauldron. No, should have played the cauldron. I just want to see that animation again. Oh. Yeah, rankle, rankle. One of those last two turns would have got me. Um, yeah. Man, everything's going, going for me. Yeah, necrolepsy. You did. You did really well. You did really well. And yeah, such a close game. Are you playing any Vivian Arcbow Rangers in that deck? Okay, so this is how it works. So if you're a subscriber, for, for like you were asking earlier there, if you're a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat just like everybody else is. This is how, and then we're gonna randomly pick um, a subscriber to play. Okay, okay, you don't have them? Okay. Yeah. Which I understand. Like, it, your deck's still going to be doing very well without Vivian. But that's a card against a deck like mine that's trying to block. It's a, it's a it's a card that, like, makes it so you can't block, like, at all. But there's not a whole lot of decks trying to block these days. Okay, is everybody in there? So a durial, all you have to do if you want to if you want to play against me a durial, you just got to type the word battle in there. Oh, you're in there. I didn't see that. Okay, okay, all right, everybody's in there. Here we go. Let's see. Oh my gosh, oh, I did it again. Sorry, uh, I did that like way earlier today. Also, by accident, I accidentally started a new giveaway. Uh, I meant, uh, <laughs> it's tough. Whoops. That's like that's the second time I did that. So yeah, all right. So practice time. Yeah, you know, so you got the practice now. So now, if you're a subscriber, type the word battle again. I'm sorry. Redo that. <laughs> Y'all giving me a pump for that. Um. All right. Here we go. Is everybody in there? 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Pandora Starbreeze. Uh, Pandora, I'm sorry you're not a subscriber. We're gonna try it again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, commands commands is tough. Adamy, Adame. Adam, are you, are you a subscriber? Yes, you are. Okay, there we go. All right, Adam. <clears throat> yep, hour and a half left of the stream, which I guess that means I should be starting part four of... Okay, you said one second. All right, we're going to do that, actually. I'm going to start part four um, here because, uh, yeah, this is, this is actually time that I need to split this up. So if you're watching on YouTube... Uh, one, thanks for watching. We're going to start part four here. I'm going to be playing against Adam. Um, so don't go anywhere. Move on over there to part four. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. <laughs>